Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. My name is Joel, and this is A Stable Life. Hey, guys. Nice to have you back with me. It is a beautiful Saturday morning. You can definitely tell that we're approaching autumn because it's starting to have that nice, crisp, clean feel in the air. We are all the way over here on our Calm Ultra, and we also have a new grain added that we're going to be using, specifically called Purina Strategy. And this grain is similar to our Calm Ultra with the exception of one thing, it's higher in protein. And protein, in case you were wondering, is important for your horse in regards to how much energy they have. The less protein that's in their grain, the calmer they will be. The more protein in their grain and their hay, the more excited, the more energy they will have. So if you're using your horse often for intense chores, such as wrangling cattle or showing, then you're gonna want your horse on a higher protein diet which is exactly the case for suede. So that feed is going to be used for pretty much suede only, but time will tell if there are any other horses that switch over to that. So we now are using Sentinel Senior, Safe Choice Maintenance, Purina Strategy, and Calm Ultra, as well as pelleted hay for Declan. That's a lot of feeds that we're using and trying to keep track of. And it's times like this that I'm really thankful that we expanded our feed room to be able to accommodate all of these horses' needs. Buster and Rocky are looking beautiful as ever, and they are excited to be out. Buster's over here banging and pawing on the door because he wants to be let out. They're really turning into such cuddly donkeys, I'll tell you what, aren't you guys? My goal today is going to be to continue cleaning the horse stable. This is the section that we power washed and it still looks good. It definitely doesn't look as good as it did when we just power washed it, but you can tell that this was cleaned. And something that I noted was, if you look at the cinder block, you can see where I cleaned and where I didn't. So I kind of want to keep this up, especially considering that we're getting closer and closer to fall and winter. My timeline for being able to get this stable cleaned is running out. Uh, today, my goal is to get as much cleaned as I can on this aisleway. I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I'm going to clean the walls going down, and then after the walls are cleaned, I'm gonna do the aisleway. And I'm just gonna go section by section. That way I don't bite off more than I could chew. But that's after we get all the horses in. Morning, Doc. So you ready to come inside? I got to get the feed ready for you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, guys. When I said Doc's is going to be a lover, my word. He, this horse is the closest thing I've seen to a puppy dog as a horse. <laughs> he's, he's ridiculous. It's so crazy. So anyway, that's all to come. For now, we need to get our grain measured out so we can feed Doc's and the others. And something I forgot to mention is, of course, Dory. So being that he's still new and the video hasn't gone live yet with us actually introducing him to you guys, uh, so the name still is Dory as of right now. I do not know if they've changed it to Sriracha, and I, I do not know any of your suggestions just because the video hasn't gone live yet, but we're looking forward to hearing those suggestions very much. This is the feed that he's getting. This is a completely different feed than anything that we have. They provided one bag for us to use to slowly integrate him into using our feed. So to start, we're gonna be using his feed because of the simple fact that it's a completely different environment, which is a shock in itself. And then as he's getting used to being here, then we can change him over to using half of our feed, half of his original feed, and then eventually the integration period is complete and he's fully using the feed that we have here for our stable based on what he needs. Just thought I'd share that with you guys as well. So that's another feed, but it's not ours. So it's not in the list of the feeds that we feed the horses. I just use the word feed a lot. Hope I didn't confuse anybody there. Docs, come on, come on. Yeah, come on, buddy. Yeah, come on. There you go. He's still learning his stall. See, this is your stall. Nice, so that's Doc's. Now we need to feed the donkeys. All right, here you go. Buster and or Rocky. Buster and or Rocky. There you go, gentlemen. Feast up, buddy, feast up. All the hay and grain is in the stalls, so we are now able to let in all the horses. Docs was up here in our lower ring because both our left run and right run is being used. So next up is gonna be the left run, and the left run has Dory, our new guy. So we're gonna have to lead him to his stall. How we doing this morning, buddy? Uh, how we doing? 
I wanted to just tell you that I appreciate you waiting for me. Come on, come on, Dory. Doesn't he look just like Poncho? <laughs> oh, it's funny. Looks just like him, but he's a thoroughbred. Crazy, man. There's your brother, sorta, sorta his brother. Oh, all right, want me to come in with you? It's all right, you're okay. There you go, bud. Awesome, now the rest of the horses should be able to be left in. Casino almost has his stall completely grasped, but not entirely. We'll have to keep an eye when letting in Casino. Same for William and Roni. There are days where they completely have it, and then there are days where they don't. And then, of course, there's the troublemaker, Argento. It's gonna be interesting, but next up is Mr. Poncho. What's up, buddy? There you go, Poncho. And then we have our middle field. Looking good, boys, looking good. There goes Jack. There goes Champ. There goes Rebel, and there goes Casino. What's up, bud? Left hand turn, that's good to see. Oh, good boy, Casino. You guys see that? That's awesome. Casino got a stall down. That is definitely something to celebrate for. That's awesome. All right, and the big field. So the ones we gotta watch in here are William and Roni and Argento. They all know their stalls. It's just a matter of whether they're gonna go in them. Right, Suede? All right, there you go. Go ahead, Suede. Go ahead, Danny. Go ahead, Declan. Go ahead, Duke. Samson. Mr. Roni. Looking beautiful as ever. Spitfire, Weather, see if Weather's got his stall down. Good boy, Weather. Obi, Gavin, Skywalker. All right, Argento, you gonna be good today? Hmm? Oh, come here. Let's see if you're gonna be good today. There you go. I suppose I didn't really give him a chance, but I'll take it. All right, what about Roni? Good boy, Roni. Hey, William, you heading on in? Good boy, William. That's what I like to see, no issues for the morning. All right. Next up, I gotta take some hay out. So if you remember, these are the two round bales that I grabbed when that tree fell on them. We're gonna be putting these round bales out, one in the middle field and one in the big field for the horses. I'll show you guys how things are looking down there in a second, but for now, time to open up some round bales. Structure's looking. Structure is doing an absolutely fantastic job keeping the hay dry, even when you dig down, which is really nice to see. So the horses are eating this. This is actually us putting the third round bale now 
in this feeder consecutively. So this structure now has three round bales that have been underneath it during storms, and it's actually doing a, a pretty substantial job at keeping the hay dry. And this is the first time that we've had to put a round bale in back to back. The first time we put a bale in, it took them about three weeks to finish it off. But now this is only a week that we're putting the next round bale in. As we're getting closer to winter, I may need to start putting two to three round bales in this pasture just to be able to feed the horses per week. So time will tell. Nonetheless, there we go. Hay is out. Now that all that's taken care of, we can let out the donkeys. Who? Because do you guys know what time it is? That's right, guys. It's donkey time. Woo! You guys ready? That little head nod Buster does cracks me up every time. Buster has taken the rope. You are something else, Buster. Come on, you troublemakers. Let's go. There we go. They had a lot of energy earlier this morning, but the energy has seemed to have faded a little bit. If I had to guess, it's going to spark up the second we go outside, though. Come on. Come on. Out the door. There you go. Come on, Buster. Let's go. There you go. There you go. Atta boy. Thank you for cooperating. There you go, boys. All right. I'm going to go get them two slices of hay. They have water down there. So they are set. Here you go, boys. Donkeys are all set. All right, Dory, you ready to head on out? Come on. Here you go, you're gonna be neighbors with the donkeys today. It's very spicy, very, very spicy. Here you go, buddy. Now, Docs would normally be turned out in the big field today. Recently, he hurt his leg. So we have him on rest right now in this lower arena until his leg heals up. It is not an abscess or anything like that. Uh, it's just uh, he was limping a little bit. We have him on some Fetalbunazone, and that has cured it up pretty quick. So we just want him to rest in here. So that means that he's going to be let out last because this arena is what all the horses go through going into the middle field. And all the horses are ready to be turned out. So that means that it's time to let him out. We're going to be starting things off with Swede. He goes out in the middle field, and then the rest of these guys get turned turned out in the big field on this wing right here. And just in case you were wondering about Gavin, he's doing great. He still does have that blowout on his back left. He's not limping anymore. He's not feeling any pain. We are just actively disinfecting it, similar to what we did when Tucker was here. And he's doing great. So we're letting him out as normal. So for anybody that was worried about Gavin, I'm sure you'll be happy to hear that news. There you go, my man. All righty, and the rest of these guys are all gonna be let out into the big field until we get all the way up over to Duke. Who's right down here on the left? The last stall on the left. into the middle field, we let Duke out this way, and then I take this rope and move it over to let the rest of the horses who are behind you guys, this way and that way and every which way, and, you know? And as mentioned before, Docs will be let out last because of where he's at right now, so he's gonna have to wait. We won't like waiting, so we're not gonna take too long to let everybody out, but you know, horses run on their own time schedule. Right, Scoots? There we go, new spot. Now you guys can get to chill out over here by Spitfire and see what's going on. Ooh. All right, Spitfire? Ooh. Out you go. On in Ribadarchi. All righty, now we're gonna let those guys get drinks and we're gonna let out the middle field. Go ahead, fire. So we've got four horses that are just left inside. We've got Weather and Samson. 
casino and docks. So we're just waiting for William and Rubble to finish up getting a drink over here and then we're gonna let out these guys. Starting with casino, then Samson, and Weather is last because Weather likes to chill next to it and anybody that's below him can't get a drink. In the herd, I mean. Anybody that's below him in the herd. I think the coast is clear. You think the coast is clear? Come on, bro. It's time to hit the hay. Move the back. There you go. Now we're gonna go shoo all the horses out of the lower arena and get it set up for docks. Now, if you guys had to guess, they, none of them have realized that there's a round bale down there for them to eat. They will in time. Come on, boys, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Hop, 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 hop. That's it, out you go, gentlemen. That's it. And in case you noticed about Argento limping, he has thrush on his front right hoof. I did take care of that this morning when I was taking care of daily care. So he will be okay. It's just right now it's bothering him a little bit, but not enough to have him put in a special or pasture or anything like that. If it was raining, that'd be a different story, but it's dry right now. Okay, there we go. And the lower arena is ready for docks. Docks, are you ready to be let out? Would you say that's a yes or a no? Nice and easy, docks, nice and easy. And that is feeding for the morning. Everybody's out where they need to be for the day. So let's take advantage of the time that we have left and see how far we can get on doing some nice deep cleaning, huh? This is what we're dealing with right here. You can see my mom has swept the aisleways, so they're not as bad as they usually are, but there is some dirt that's on the stall mats, and I'm more interested in seeing how clean we can get the walls, because it's never actually been pressure washed in here before. I am curious. I'm, if, if I had to guess how far we would get, I'm thinking I'm gonna get to right about here. I think we got this section done, these walls done, these walls done, and this section done. If we get further than this, then I will be surprised. We have our pressure washer all hooked up, and I have my leaf blower. Trusty, handy dandy, battery powered, does the job pretty good. Before we pressure wash this, we need to clean these aisleways off. I uh, haven't released the video yet where you guys told me the name of this chicken. But just in case you're wondering, yeah, she's still here. She does good, she keeps the hay clean. Noticed a little bit drop in, in insects, so she's kind of cool having around. Now this section, I'm gonna blow off the aisleway on the bottom here. I'm also gonna do a little bit to blow off the sides. I'm gonna set the camera up and start. It is rather dusty work, so I try to do it when there's nobody around, which thankfully right now, there is nobody around. And I will be using a significant heavy duty mask so that's why I won't be talking while I'm doing it because you guys won't really be able to hear me. So we're gonna set it up and uh, get her started, huh? All right, how do I look? Think I look good? All right. I don't know if you can see how dusty it is in here, but I'm gonna have this on for a little bit longer until the dust clears out. But now we're gonna switch from the leaf blower over to the pressure washer. That should be good there. Now we're just going to turn on the hydrant so we've got water. And that should help die down the dust quite a bit. Something important to keep in mind, we will not be pressure washing anything here. We don't want the hay to get wet. So we're going to start here, work our way out, and we're going to start on the walls and work down and then do the aisle way. Let's get cleaning. One word for you guys, and that's wow. Look at how much better that looks. Man, and the dust has finally cleared up enough that I'm able to take this nice mask off. So let's keep on at it. We're making good time. So I just wanted to show you guys, this is the door now that it's cleaned off. How crazy does that look? And here's the wall. There's the wall, dirty, clean. Also my dad's here and he's stolen my pressure washer to clean his stuff. Awesome. Hey, this is nice. You keep working, I'll keep filming.
doing an absolutely fantastic job. He's really liking this pressure washer a lot. Check out how good this looks back here. I mean, this is crazy. So he absolutely loves using pressure washers. He has one of his own, and so he didn't come here to do this, but he saw it and was like, hey, can I give it a shot? <laughs> So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that dust mask back on and I'm gonna blow the rest of this all the way out. We're making good time. We'll see how far we get. I don't think we're gonna get the entire barn this side clean just because we're about an hour and 20 minutes till feeding. I definitely thought I'd have a lot less done by now. We're making good time. So that's off. You just finish up on the walls? Yep. Wow, does that look good. Doesn't it? Next up we're gonna be working on is the mats here, going all the way out. So I'm probably gonna help Dad. I guess we'll let him do the pressure washing and I'll follow behind him with the broom. Actually, no, I did not. Huh. Well, at least that one's laminated. That one will be here for a little while. <laughs> that was just pressure washing for a little bit. Check it out, guys. Look how clean this wall got. Over here. And look who's managed to come down and get out of the store. How'd you manage to get down here? Andrew switched with me. Andrew switched with you. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Nice to have you down with us for a little bit. Good to get outside. Yes. That's good. What do you think of how the stable's looking? It looks amazing. I mean, it absolutely blows me away. I didn't know the wood was that color. Me neither. <laughs> it literally looks brand new. Look, I mean, wow. This is fantastic, guys. I'm, I'm stoked. We're about out of time. We only got about 20 minutes here until we got to start feeding horses. So I think Dad's gonna work on the aisleway for a little bit, but then we're gonna be packing it up and switching to afternoon feeding. But we got a lot done. All right, we have all the grain measured out. Megan's helping us, so things are going rather smoothly. Dad's still working on pressure washing the aisleways, so we'll check in with him and see how far he's gotten. Uh, but we're getting close to letting in all the horses, so that's awesome. Just like that, it's that easy to put the pressure washer away. And uh, so here's your, your final look at how everything looks here before the horses all come in. incredible is you can literally see the line where he stopped right here 
So we definitely got a little bit further, but that was because I got some awesome help. So dad, thank you so much for helping me out. Oh, no problem. I really appreciate it. We got a lot further than I was expecting to get done. So it's nice that we got even down all the way to Rebel Stall than just right here. So that's yeah. awesome. Nice big chunk out of it. We still have to do the border's wing and then the rest of our wing. 100%, but the results speak for themselves. It looks great. On top of all of that, my lovely wife down there helped me measure out, so everything is in the stalls. Which means it's time to let the horses in. Ow! So exciting. We're so blown away by how nice everything looks. You have to understand, this, this stable has never been pressure washed. Yeah. This cinder block that was laid here was laid by my mom when she was six years old, and it's never been cleaned. This is the actual the outside wall of the original barn when they had pigs here. So that's, it's really kind of crazy to see how clean it and how nice everything looks. Something to keep in mind though, because horses be horses, the aisleways are so clean that the horses may interpret them as voids, whatever. It's an abyss, they yeah. don't wanna walk on that. Yeah, they, they, don't, they don't understand that that is not a giant hole. So I'm gonna set the camera up so you guys can see how the horses kind of react as they're walking in and checking out how everything's looking. Good news, all the horses are taken care of and turned out. I did have to leave Danny out because he still refused to walk down the aisle way, but I still can't get over how good those walls look. Man, so happy about it. It's gonna be on that awesome note that that's gonna be where we're drawing an end to the video for today. Guys, we would like to thank you so very much for watching and that we hope you enjoyed. And Megan just has some reminders that she would like to share with you. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future videos. People are going to want to know what's the question of the day. Gavin does the question of the day. I know, but there we need a question. What is better, milk chocolate or dark chocolate? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> that is a question Gavin would have never thought of. <laughs> I'm actually really excited to see the <laughs> findings on this one, guys. So yeah, leave your answers down in the comments below. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Ready to go home?